Hey guys, welcome. My name is Chad. I'm coming to you from Drone Nerds Academy. Today we're going to talk about the firmware upgrade. Uh, we get a lot of phone calls for this, so I'm going to show you how to do it on the Professional Phantom 3. So inside your drone, you actually have a memory card that comes out of the camera. You're going to pull it out. You're going to put it into your memory card reader. You're going to go to dji.com, uh, download the firmware, uh, get the bin file. If you have a Windows, it's going to automatically unzip it for you. If you have a Mac, you just pull the zip file the bin zip file and put it into your memory card in the memory card reader. Once it downloads and gets into there, go ahead and pull it out, put it in the drone or in the Phantom, in the camera in the Phantom. Going to want to pull the camera guard off and the foam piece that comes on the back. I always like to leave that on there, it just protects the camera when you're not doing anything. Um, and then, you know, take it off before turning it on. So now once you turn on the Phantom, it's going to go through the calibration of the camera and then on the front you're actually going to get a red and green light indicator letting you know that it's reading the memory card. So right here it's starting to read it. You can hear with the, the beeps. Once it actually starts putting the firmware in there, it's going to give you four beeps, which will come up right after this. Right now it's just reading it. So now it's actually reading the firmware. It's doing the, the process of updating the, the entire unit and system. Um, then once it's done, it'll give you a long beep and two short beeps, which we'll, we'll show you at the end when it, when it gets done with that too. Now I do a dance break. All right, so when you're done with the Phantom update, you're gonna wanna pull the memory card out, put it back in the reader, plug it back into your computer, then you're gonna check it, it's gonna have a test file in there. You're gonna to wanna to check the test file to make sure it reads successful. Uh, once it does, you can go ahead and delete that and then pull this back out. Leave the memory card in it. There's two ways you can do it. You can either take the cable that came with the actual Phantom, plug it into the back of the controller, put the memory card into the camera, and then plug the cord into the side of the camera. So it's gonna look like this. Then once the memory card is in there, you turn on the Phantom, it's actually going to read the memory card and it's going to update and install it on the remote. But today what we're going to do is we're going to use just the memory card reader. Pretty much the same idea. You're just going to take the memory card reader with the memory card in there, plug it into the back, turn the remote on, light's going to be red, it's going to start reading the memory card as if you were to have the tablet or, or iPhone or Android phone plugged in to, to do the, the flight with the Phantom. The light is going to go from red to blue. It'll start blinking and it'll actually beep and let you know that it's reading it. As soon as you're finished updating, you can go ahead and pull the memory card reader out of the back of the remote. You're going to plug it in, check the memory card to make sure that the memory card uh, file in there says complete as well, just like you did with the Phantom. So it's going to read in there saying successful. You can go ahead and delete that, delete the bin file, leave that DCIM folder in there. You're going to put the memory card back into your Phantom so you can start taking pictures. Uh, the reason why you want to delete that is to get full, full memory out of the card. Um, as soon as you turn it on, you can go ahead and turn the Phantom on, turn on the remote, and then in your, your device, whichever you choose to use, you can click on the middle and it's going to give you the aircraft state. It'll tell you if there is an update that needs to be done or if the update was successful. Anytime a new update is available, it's going to tell you that it needs to be done there as well. So again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a response and, and let us know.